Hello everybody, I'm Damien Leroy, and I just wanted to break down your first time on a directional or surfboard kiteboarding. I want to give you the full basics. I want to go through, just make your life a lot easier. So in this video, we're going to cover water starts, tacking, jibing, how to go over a wave properly, just all the basics that you kind of want to know when you get your first directional um, and you're taking it for the first time kite surfing. So hopefully this video really helps you. When it comes to picking the right surfboard, what is the best one for me? It's a good question. I have three different surfboards here. Um, right next to me is the S-Quad from Cabrina. Um, obviously you can see the nose is a little pulled in, the tail is a lot smaller. This is gonna be a really high performance, um, you know, more top to bottom waves. It's gonna turn on a dime, it's gonna be really fast. Um, that would be more advanced surfboard. For sure you can ride it in all conditions. This is my go-to, I absolutely love this board. Um, or if we go completely to the other end, we have the Cutlass. The Cutlass is a little, little fuller nose, a little bit wider outline. Uh, we actually have step rails in it, which means um, you have more ability to carve real nice, but you still get some volume to it. So it gives you the ability for maybe um, you know, mushier conditions or maybe not the greatest conditions, this board is going to be really good for somebody who's a little bigger or maybe you're just looking for, it's not super windy and you want a little more volume, this board's going to perform amazing. It's going to be great for airs uh, just because you get a little more surface area. And then we have our crossbreed in the middle and this board is absolutely amazing because it's very symmetrical. So for airs or for freestyle, you can land backwards. Very, very great board for freestyle slash surf because you have the ability of a nice straighter outline which gives you a lot of speed, very snappy. Um, but what's really neat about the crossbreed is it also comes in a foil version so you can actually mount a foil to it and you could have a surfboard. So it's a great board for all around to have a little bit more when you're ready to learn how to foil. Um, that's just a general idea on some surfboards but I would always look at your conditions, ask your local riders around. Uh, my go-to is the S-Quad, I absolutely love it. All right everybody, let's get started. Let's talk about the water start. Most important thing about a water start is just take your time and relax and breathe. Get your feet up onto that board, your kite's at about neutral. Most important thing is bend your back leg. Put nice pressure on it, dive that kite down, and slowly stand up over that board and start edging into the wind. If you're having troubles keeping the board underneath you, keep that kite moving back and forth, really small movements above your head and that should keep that board nice pressure against you. The standing water start. This is a little more advanced, but something you can build towards. The goal is you're gonna set the board down, jump on with your front foot, your back foot falls right away, and you'd ride off. Now how that's done is timing with the kite. So the most important thing here is, as you step on with your front foot, your kite is diving down, which gives you the pull to stand up on it, and then edge right away into the wind. That'll take you upwind, have pressure against your kite, and you will be riding away enjoying a standing water start. The toe side turn. Most important thing about a toe side turn is direct the kite in the way you wanna go and follow it. Now, as you do this, the most important thing is if you go super far downwind, you're gonna lose all power in the kite. So you wanna edge back into the wind. So put that pressure on the back foot, sink the back of the board, steer the kite, sink it and keep edging around. Very important right here to keep edging into the wind. Toe side transition to heel side. This is just something just like a toe side turn, but you can take it to the next level. So the goal is make that toe side turn, and as you edge into the wind, bring that kite up. When that kite comes up, you can switch your feet from forward to back. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna edge into the wind and I'm gonna take my back foot and as that kite comes up, I'm gonna step where the front one was and I'm gonna bring my back foot back. A very important tip here is stay low and as that kite comes up is when you make that switch with your feet, dive that kite in the direction you're going and ride away. Here's a good question I get, approaching a wave and how to ride over it. So the trick to approaching a wave and riding over it is slow your speed down, bring your kite up 
and slowly go over the wave, redirect the kite down in the direction you were going, and start again. So the trick is slow your speed down when you come into the wave, bring that kite up, and then compress your legs, redirect the kite, and start riding away. Bring that kite up, that'll create lift and make it a lot easier for you to go up and over that wave, dive that kite, and start going. Jibing, a turn, or jibing. The trick to jibing is bringing your kite up, creating some lift, and then bringing your back foot forward and swapping it with your front foot. It's more of a timing thing, but the trick is bring that kite up, it creates a little lift when you pull down on that bar, it'll give you a little bit of lift and you can switch your feet and most importantly, create tension on that kite by edging against it. So most important thing is bringing that kite up to neutral, switching those feet, putting more pressure on your back foot and making that board come around as that kite dives down and you've made a perfect jibe. If you go too slow, game over, you're just gonna fall in the water because the kite has no tension. Let's talk about a surfboard tack. A surfboard tack is all about edging into the wind. So the trick is you wanna edge straight into the wind to create tension on that kite with your arms extended, which means when I go right straight into the wind, I can pull down on that bar to create a little bit of lift as that kite's above my head, but I gotta keep that kite moving in the opposite direction. That keeps my momentum going, makes me able to ride away from this. So as I switch my feet, that kite is moving. If I don't, I will fall right in the water. So I wanna edge into the wind, keep that kite moving down in that transition. It's literally gonna cross right over my head and as it's at neutral above my head is when I switch the feet and I have that kite go. So I go straight into the wind and I switch my feet, dive that kite down and start riding in the other direction. A really important tip here is if you don't redirect the kite, you will literally sink and fall into the water. That is mostly what happens when you do it wrong. So again, into the wind, Pull down, create lift, switch your feet, redirect the kite, always keep that kite coming across. Basic turning on a wave. You always wanna look before you turn, always good to know if there's another kite surfer there, and also it's good to look to know where you can line up that wave. I can make a tighter turn or a longer, more drawn out turn by how fast I whip that kite. Most important thing about that toe side turn is when you turn that kite and you go to follow it, you wanna make sure I have more pressure on my back foot and all I'm looking for is the ability to make that turn on that wave and where am I gonna make it. So like I followed the kite with the turn, I'm actually going to look turn that kite, I'm gonna follow it, more pressure's on my back foot, and right away I'm turning the kite the opposite direction so I can follow it again as I hit the lip of that wave. So the trick is more follow that kite. So you're kind of turning the kite and then you're turning. When I turn that kite, I then follow the kite, I see the wave lip, I turn the kite again, and then I hit the wave lip directing your kite and following it around. Now, if you always feel like you're losing power, that means you're going too far downwind or too far at your kite. Basic 180 transition. This is just a fun trick you can work on for the future. All you're gonna do is you're gonna put more pressure on your back foot. You're gonna ollie or push down on your back foot, lift that nose up, grab the rail with your front hand, and you're just gonna spin your board 180 and you're gonna land on it and you're gonna ride away transitioning your kite going the opposite direction. Just a fun trick to work on and have some fun with. Hopefully this video was very helpful for you and uh, I hope to see you on the water and thank you so much and be safe out there.